Inside speed from Pretty Coast today. There's the green cap of Best Forced Idea and the favorites, the gray. Wicked Kitten is also in the top three. Woke Up a Diva goes a little wide while McCall makes a smart move to save ground. And last of all is Sirdar. Up and around the paddock grove, turn they go. And Pretty Coast sets the agenda and the pace is keen. Shows the way by four. Best Forced Idea, a little headstrong in second, floating out the favorite Wicked Kitten, who has no excuses today at the six for long point. There's a gap of Five back to Woke Up a Diva being passed by Sirdar in the red cap on the outside, and Bacall is last of all. Down to the five for long pole they stroll, and Pretty Coast has it all their own way this afternoon on a humid day, and shows the way by four authoritative lengths. Wicked Kitten is patiently gliding up to that speed, and Best Worst Idea ready to tack onto her. They still have four and a half lengths clear in front of Sirdar, Woke Up a Diva, and Bacall's last of all. So now the plot starts to thicken, and here comes the favorite, Wicked Kitten. Kitten is ready to roll, but Best Worst Idea takes the fight to her. Pretty Coast walked and then soon faded, and now Woke Up a Diva claims fourth, might land third. In the vicinity of the 5 16th pole, and the favorites rolling now. Wicked Kitten hits the front and looks for a danger, and the dangers are closing, but calls on the far outside and looms an upset threat, and so does Woke Up a Diva. Heads turn for home. Wicked Kitten's leg weary at odds on, and they were sitting ducks for Woke Up a Diva. Diva and Bacall homeward bound now and Wicked Kittens dropped the way to third and Bacall hits the front at four to one. Woke up the Diva at 30 to one is battling her every step of the way but from last to first with Julio Hernandez Bacall in front at the 16th pole. Bacall has won it over Woke up a Diva. Wicked Kittens stopped to a canter and Sirdar was a well-beaten fourth. Away and running. Good speed, one from the inside from run and score today. The rail belongs to Traffic Master as all of them line up as they have a lap to go. Estio Magico's in the three path, four wide is in the dance, five wide is energy efficient, and award nominated going over to greet the crowd that lines up around the first turn. Seven eighths of a mile to go and run and score emerges from out of the crowd to take the lead. And Estio Magico is on hold in that second place position and in the dance is right there too as they mix it up early. Traffic Master has the run of the race with no excuses today. Award nominators had a wide trip, and so is energy efficient as they leave the five and a half. So run and score shows the way, and shows the way by a dwindling neck with five furlongs to go. Estio Magico is patiently ridden in second, and in the dance is right there in a position to challenge. Traffic Master just licking its chops, waiting for all of this to unfold. Under a ride is award nominated, and energy efficient's a ground saving last. Only five lanes would cover, tip to tail, they swing the side. Run and score continues to be this longtime leader, but push is coming to shove. In the dance is ready to pounce when it counts. Estio Magico has no more to give. Traffic Masters a struggling force. Award nominated wide. Nothing from energy efficient. And at the quarter pole in the dance comes calling for the lead. But run and score hasn't waved the white flag yet. And these two go toe to toe inside the 316th pole. They're homeward bound. In the dance continues the lead. Run and score grudgingly giving way. Now Traffic Masters being uncoiled. These three inside the final 16th of a mile in the dance leading. Run and score resurgent. Traffic Master getting up in the final jump. Traffic Master photos. 
within the dance in a close call in the second of the day. Away and running. Good speed today in the center from Arrogate Stream. In the all yellow, Touche is right there too. And on the inside, there goes then Dara's Lost. On the far outside, Coach Kaylee joins Trey Francais for that front flight of runners as they move in front of us for the first time. So Arrogate Stream's a leader in a paceless affair. Coach Kaylee came away in second and Touche rides that rail to be a ground saving third. Trey Francais is in the two path with a sweet trip. And then Dara's Lost is joined and passed by Lucky and Love and a more or Salbehe, second to last is Mischievous, and last of all, with no pace on, is Gulf Coast Girl. They approach the five for long pole, and the leader today is Arrogate Stream, trying to relax the field and leads by almost two. But Coach Kaylee is right there, shadowing her every single move in that second place position, and Trey France drops over to the fence to be a clear cut third. Almor Salbehe is the widest runner. Lucky and loves the meat in that sandwich. Touche continues to scrape paint. Now Mischievous is trying to get on track. Miss Chinitz in front of two, which is then Dora's loss. And Gulf Coast Girl whips him in with five sixteenths to go. Arrogate Stream has made every single yard. And Coach Kaylee continues the chase in second. Trey Francais in the thick of it, too. There's a quarter to go. And Arrogate Stream is the first one to spin him in. Trey Francais has no excuses, but the leaders got away with soft fractions inside the final three sixteenths of a mile. Arrogate Stream continues to give plenty. Trey Francais is ready to take another crack at this leader. Gulf Coast Girl is absolutely flying, but time's ticking away. A 5-1 to one front running score for Arrogate Stream to be Trey Francais, Gulf Coast Girl, and then came Lucky in Love. Away and running. Malibu Beauty pings first. Mobilis is showing good early speed, and so is Cats in the Timber at the 7.5 for long point. Warrior's Ransom drops the last, and that one was passed by I'm the Boss of Me, and near the back half of the field is gone and forgotten. Around the first of two left turns, Malibu Beauty carves out the fractions today and shows the way a length and a half. Mobilis is right there in a position to challenge that second place position, and I'm the Boss of Me is a patiently ridden third as they leave the six furlong pole behind. Cats in the Timber stays glued towards the rail, two lengths in front of Warrior's Ransom, and in a paceless race, gone and forgotten has a lot of catching up to do. They race midpoint of the backstretch run, and they're halfway home. Malibu Beauty's the leader, and that leads down to three quarters of a length. I'm the Boss of Me in the Black Cap is right there in a position to challenge. Mobilis is in between rivals beneath the 
dig deep and find more. Warrior's Ransom stays at that rail. Cats in the Timber comes under a heavy drive. And nothing yet from the backfield, which is gone and forgotten. Inside the three, Malibu Beauty still leads. I'm the boss of me, has shadowed her every single step of the way. And these two ladies have kicked away, and closing in from last is gone and forgotten. They're off the turn, and they race for home. I'm the boss of me, confronting Malibu Beauty, this longtime leader. Closing in sweetly, gone and forgotten, looms a winning threat on the far outside. Malibu Beauty clinging on to a two-length lead. I'm the boss of me, has no more to give. Gone and forget and loomed. Cats in the timber rise the rail. They're almost home. Malibu Beauty huffing and puffing. I'm the boss of me, lunges late. Malibu Beauty wins by a nose. They beat I'm the boss of me, gone and forgotten, and cats in the timber. Away and running. Good speed one from the inside from Stylish Anna today. The headstrong in Susian to settle down to be in second and climbing hard under the jockey's hands. And Boardwalk Fry stays right there at the six and a half for a long point. Then there's a gap of two back to Amorica, who's a ground saving fourth. In between rivals is Turbo Millie. Wide on the course is looking at kisses. Up the inside goes La Santa Clara. Last of all is Beastie Girl. It's a compact lot of eight as they leave the first turn behind. And Stylish Anna benefiting from that inside shows the way by only an act but boardwalk fries is right there trying to push this pace right along and they're open up a length and a half and there's a cluster of four with a Morku who stays towards the rail and Susian's had a wide trip passed in tandem by turbo Millie who's also right there in the thick of things too down to the three and a half for a long pole they go stylish Anna controls things but for how much longer boardwalk fries is right there trying to pounce turbo Millie lands third a more because a ground saving fourth with Santa Clara needs to do better. Beastie's girl is crying out for room. Insouciant had a rough trip and looking at kisses is starting to pick them off one by one. Inside the quarter pole and Boardwalk Fries has a target on its back but goes very wide as they swing in. Boardwalk Fries leads. Stylish Channel battles back. Looking at kisses is right there too and trying to close in. Up the inside is Beastie Girl. A mouth-watering finish. Boardwalk Fries still leads. Beastie Girl comes surging up the fence at four to one beastie girl wins over boardwalk fries looking at kisses and turbo millie
Away and running, slow to go with Shaft's bullet. Good speed from Jackman today, but there's brother Conway and Spike Zone fighting for that early lead. And deep on the track is Sir Wellington. Threes over deuces, punches on through in the opening furlong. And a slow start leaves Shaft's bullet with a monumental task. Down to the four and a half furlong pole they race, and Spike Zone takes the fight to brother Conway. And the early advantage goes to Spike Zone. Brother Conway under a loose rein gets a niggle or two under Carol hands to stay with the speed. Sir Wellington's looping up on the far outside. Threes over deuces has the run of the race if good enough. Jackman needs to do a little bit better while bearing out and Shaft's bullet was never near. They get ready to pass the quarter pole and Spike Zone is bracketed by every side and Sir Wellington comes with a sweeping run on the far outside. They have three sixteenths to go and Sir Wellington has kicked for the money in a huge way. Spike Zone has no no more to give. Late on the scene, threes over deuces along with Jackman and Shaft's bullet. And Shaft's bullet's going to move into second, but no catching the winner. Sir Wellington is a 5-2 to two winner over Shaft's bullet, Spike Zone, and Jackman. Away and running. Good speed in the center for my sanctuary. Outside pace pressure is coming from elusive image and return fire. Up the inside, you wasn't ready, and Hot on Your Heels is right there, too, with a circuit of the track to go. So Hot on Your Heels shares the lead with Elusive Image, and you wasn't ready sits the trip in that third place position, and return fire from that outside barrier is a clear-cut fourth. Fortinbras came away in fifth position with Moonshine Runner a tracking sixth. In between rivals, My Sanctuary and Deep on the Track is Go Take Charge, and the other three must be in near the Maryland State line. Bottomless refill, Golden Owl, and nothing today from General JR. They are stretched out from one zip code to another as they race down the back of the track and the pace is keen. Up the inside, hot on your heels. And elusive image continued to trade jabs with four furlongs to go. And right there, return fire lurks ever so closer. A patient third. You resin ready stays at that rail and comes under a ride. Fortin Bras is in the thick of it too. My sanctuary's crying out for room. And go take charges right there too. Inside three furlongs to go. Elusive image image makes a break for it but dealing with the oncoming challenge of return fire who's right there in the thick of it hot on your heels went too fast too early and trying to loop up on the far outside is go take charge in my sanctuary continues a sweet trip they swing an elusive image leads but push is coming to shove return fire is right there in the thick of it too my sanctuary is starting to close in go take charge was stubborn trying to go into the gate they're at the 16th pole my sanctuary trying to shoulder his way through still leading elusive image go take charge dives late elusive image got it by a neck to be go take charge by sanctuary and return fire
Away and running. Awesome Flay was a beat slow, but Pappy's Revenge comes out charging in. So does Visual Artist, and the pace is hot. Earl of Dassel, the long shot, also wants a piece of the early action. And Conspiracy Fact enjoys the box seat, but going three wide as they corner left. Up the inside, Awesome Flay, and to the outside of that one is Keen looking. Around the first turn they go, Visual Artist shows the way, but the lead's only half a length as Poppy's Revenge is right there, glued to his every move in second. And on the wide outside, Conspiracy Fact puts a nose in front for that third place check. Earl of Dassel battles right back to take the position away with a gap of one. Back to Awesome Flay and the trailer is keen looking. They race down to the five for long stick and Visual Artist continues to show things and that lead has been stalked every step of the way by Poppy's Revenge. Conspiracy Fact has no excuses as this one glides up to the both of them. Earl of Dassel needs to dig deep and find more. Keen looking is on the marks and Awesome Flay despite a slow start still last of all. Four lanes would cover tip to tail and and now Poppy's Revenge kicks for home at the three for long pole and has opened up with ease. Conspiracy Fact now lands second. Visual Artist went too fast too early. And now Keen looking has opened up in that third place position. Around the turn with a quarter to go. Poppy's Revenge trying to stick the trip for another three sixteenths of a mile. Conspiracy Fact floundering in second. Earl of Dassel's in between rivals. They're homeward bound. Poppy's Revenge desperately clinging to the lead. Conspiracy Fact taking giant strides on the far outside and Conspiracy Fact is up and past in the concluding stages. Poppy's Revenge fought hard but was second fiddle to Conspiracy Fact. Beating Poppy's Revenge, Earl of Dassel, an awesome play. Thank you. 